Aleppo braces for war of all wars. This is a report from the Daily Telegraph on the 29th of April 2016 this year. Aleppo saw one of its bloodiest days since the ceasefire began on Friday as government forces laid the groundwork for a war of all wars to retake Syria's second city. The carnage of the last few days has propelled Aleppo bitterly contested since 2012 and considered the jewel of Syria once again to the main battlefield in the civil war. The Syrian regime pounded rebel areas in the city with air raids including on another medical centre while opposition fighters hit government-held neighbourhoods with rockets and artillery fire. Friday prayers were cancelled across Aleppo for only the second time during the five-year war. So worried were residents that they would be targeted if they gathered in groups. And with more than 100 killed in the past 48 hours, an average of one Syrian was dying every 25 minutes. Fadi Hakim, a doctor from Aleppo, who set up the clinic in the district of Marja, was bombed on Friday morning, told the Telegraph, It has been some of the worst days we've ever seen here. The United Nations rights chief condemned the shameful international response to the escalating violence, accusing the two major powers backing warring sides of becoming accomplices in the bloodshed. Aleppo, where roughly 1.5 million people still live, is embracing for a final offensive by the Syrian army, backed by the Russian warplanes. So why are we so interested in Aleppo? From a Bible point of view. The answer is, Aleppo is specifically mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 49, in connection with the fall of Damascus. In the Bible, Aleppo is called by the ancient name Arpad. Wikipedia says Arpad is an ancient city that was near Aleppo. The Bible says that Arpad would be gripped by fear as they have heard news of their destruction. And we take note from Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 23 that the towns of Hamath, Homes, and Arpad, Aleppo, are struck with fear for they have heard the news of their destruction. Their hearts are troubled like a wild sea in a raging storm. Damascus has become feeble and all her people turn to flee. So when Aleppo is about to be destroyed, Damascus falls. See verse 26 and 27.